You're walking down the street one day when you spot a cute puppy doing something adorable. Immediately, you know you have to share this with everybody you know, because puppies are awesome and the internet needs more of them. You whip out your phone and start to record what's sure to be a viral hit of a puppy doing something cute, and satisfied with the result, you move to upload directly to your Instagram. But something's wrong. The video isn't loading. It's stuck at like 13% for five minutes now. You check your reception and sure enough, you've got one bar. But how is this possible? You always have full bars almost everywhere you go in your city and even when you only have two to three bars of service, your internet is definitely still fast enough to upload a short video. That's when you see it and a cold, creeping chill shivers its way up your spine. Right there, next to your one bar of reception, one single dreaded word, T-Mobile. You try to calm down. How can this be? You were just enjoying lightning fast cell service yesterday. You need answers, but first you need to sit because you're about to have a panic attack. Waving your phone frantically around in the air, hoping to magically get enough reception to make your call, you finally manage to get through to your mother. When she answers, you can only gasp out in panic, why? Your mother chastises you on the other end of the line, though it's hard to hear because she keeps cutting out, despite the fact that your house is literally like two blocks away. Oh, honey, she says. T-Mobile had such a great deal, 500 family lines for like two bucks. Yes, I know they have great deals, that's how they get you. But you can't yell at your poor mother for being sucked in by the snake oil salesman of cellular service providers. She can't possibly know that T-Mobile offers cutthroat rates on purpose to lure people in, lock them and their firstborns into lifelong contracts, and then give them the most horrible cell service in return. Suddenly you feel a hand on your shoulder and hear a grim, low chuckle. You slowly turn around to the figure behind you casting a shadow over you. It's him, or it. It's T-Mobile, a monstrous being embodying all of the world's pain, misery, and suffering. And it's laughing at you. I got you and your dear sweet mother. For life! With the sinking feeling you realize it's true. There's practically no way to break a T-Mobile contract because their service contracts are signed in the blood of an unbaptized infant and enforced by Satan himself. T-Mobile laughs at you, taunting, Go ahead, kid, the monster says. Call for help. You'll get no reception. So your mother got suckered into a contract with the most awful cell phone company in the world. And now you must free your bloodline from eternal bondage to the monster that is T-Mobile. How are you going to fight and defeat T-Mobile? On paper, T-Mobile has the third largest coverage in the US behind AT&T and Verizon. Only Sprint has less coverage than T-Mobile, with T-Mobile covering approximately 62% of the United States with 4G coverage. Verizon, on the other hand, leads the pack with 70% coverage, and AT&T has 68% coverage. Despite T-Mobile's wide coverage, it's a well-known fact that actually getting good reception even within their coverage area is next to impossible. That's because unlike other cellular service companies who place their cell towers at even intervals across cities and the countryside, T-Mobile cell towers are actually situated in hell itself, leading to poor reception as the cell signal has to penetrate hundreds of miles of bedrock to get to Satan's fiery realm of doom and demise where it can be picked up by T-Mobile cellular data network towers. As a new T-Mobile customer, you'll no doubt be dealing with their customer service department quite frequently. Unfortunately for you, T-Mobile also outsources its customer service to the sixth circle of hell, where heretics are punished for eternity, which is typically how long you'll have to wait to get on the line with one of the damned. Even though if you manage to actually get a hold of a customer service rep, you'll no doubt be notified that the problem is clearly with your phone and not their service. Then they'll probably try to possess your soul, but thanks to the poor reception won't be able to. You're probably surprised to hear that T-Mobile currently has the largest coverage in the US for 5G service, and 5G promises to absolutely revolutionize everything we do with technology thanks to lightning fast data transfer rates up to entire gigabytes a second. Wait, you say to yourself, how could the world's worst cell company, which can't even guarantee regular network coverage, if you're so much as five feet away from one of their towers, possibly have the largest 5G network in the nation? Something's not quite right here. And you're right, because while T-Mobile's current 5G network is faster than 4G, it's not true 5G, as it doesn't use the same high frequency waves required for real 5G. It's basically an imposter 5G network. While other companies are trying to build real networks, T-Mobile can claim it's already done the work and that it has the largest coverage so far. Then helpless suckers like your mom will sign up for their service because who doesn't want the largest 5G coverage in the nation, only to discover that, oops, 
Did T-Mobile forget to mention it's not actually 5G? But hey, it's okay because T-Mobile promises it'll upgrade to true 5G in time. How much time? Well, given their current track record, T-Mobile will probably have you zooming along at 5G by the time that humanity has evolved to telepathy and no longer requires cell phones. So how are you going to defeat T-Mobile and end their reign of awfulness and terror? Should you target their cell towers and sabotage their ability to do business? First, like we mentioned, their towers are actually located in the black heart of hell itself, along with their customer service department and company headquarters, so they're a little out of reach. Second, T-Mobile cell towers are not made of steel and aluminum like regular cell towers. They're constructed from the bones of hell's most vile denizens, mass murderers, terrorists, Hitler, and people who don't courtesy flush when dropping a deuce in a public toilet. The bones infuse the cell towers with unholy evil, which is part of the reason why their service is so terrible. Forget the towers then, maybe you can strike out at their stores, maybe you can sabotage them at the point of sale and their business operations at the source. Well, good luck with that because T-Mobile salespeople are not flesh and blood human beings. They're genetic husks created in a specialized clone lab so that they can be used to play host to legions of demons and unholy spirits. But these evil dead don't want to possess you, no, they have far greater torment in store for you. They want you to sign a contract for T-Mobile service. Each time you do a good deed, an angel gets its wings. Each time a T-Mobile contract is signed, a demon receives its horns, and the thin barrier separating the earth from the fiery realm of hell is eroded just a little bit further until the day the barrier collapses completely and hell's armies walk the earth, dooming everyone to an eternity of T-Mobile cell phone service. So how can you defeat T-Mobile? Well, you can't, it's far too ancient and evil. With its roots in a lost chapter of the book of Genesis, where Satan tried to call hmm. Eve and tempt her to eat the forbidden fruit, only he couldn't get service because T-Mobile, and thus had to do it in person. T-Mobile is much like Satan, a thorn in the side of humanity, an evil purposefully allowed to run rampant by God so that we can be tested by temptation and evil, and mature spiritually by learning to resist and walk in faithful obedience. T-Mobile will sadly continue to victimize humanity with horrible cell service until Judgment Day, when both T-Mobile and the Beast will be tossed into a fiery pit for eternity. But that's a long way away, and we're sorry to say, but you're doomed. I mean, you could try breaking the contract and getting out early, but you'll quickly see that while their services are cutthroat cheap, their penalties for breaking a contract are insanely steep. The best you can do now is to warn others, because it's too late for you. Want to know how to defeat another horrible evil? Check out our video You vs Freddy Fazbear, or check out this other video instead for a change of pace.